Hey guys, what's up? It's Red Claw Wolf with another, um, not an airsoft review today. Today I feel like doing a little, um, breakdown of what you need or what, um, equipment is good for if you're a beginner in airsoft and you're going to your first game or you just want to begin to get into it and understand the sport. Um, so, yeah, in, uh, if you already know that airsoft is a pellet, um, you know, team versus team match style playing, where basically you just shoot at each other until the game's over, the objective's over, whatever, you know. Um, I hate to say this, but you could to easily understand it. It's like a non-lethal real life Call of Duty sport. Um, as much as I hate to say that, that's the basic way I think I could, uh, explain that to people who don't understand what Airsoft is. Now, <clears throat> to get down to it, if you're a beginning or a new Airsoft player, safety is always first, no matter what you do, whether it's in the backyard, um, playing with your friends, just plinking around with, uh, you know, just cheap guns. Or if you're on a sanctioned um, airsoft field, they uh, they require that safety is always first. Um, if you are beginning in airsoft, the first thing I would look at is finding a good mask or goggles, preferably a full face mask. Um, I actually don't have mine right now. I broke it. Um, the whole entire front uh, plate, not plate, uh, plexiglass, whatever, goggle area, just split in half, so <clears throat> right now I'm ordering a, uh, a new, uh, some new uh, revision goggles, I'll do, be doing a review on, on those here pretty soon, um, but yeah, face um, protection is very much uh, important, I've seen people with chipped teeth, I've accidentally actually shot my friend in the face right here on his cheek, and that left a pretty nasty welt. Um, he was pretty pissed because I was pretty much at like right here and just uh, but it was a it was a cheap spring but still you don't want to do that <laughs> I'm stupid on my part um, another important thing for a beginner airsoft um, I know people if you've watched videos on YouTube or watched people play you don't need the dressed out camo you don't need like the entire chest rig with a whole bunch of magazines and go out there like at once Learn to understand the game, study the game, watch videos, look at reviews, look at different gun styles, different uh, gameplay. If you're a runner or you're a scout or a sniper or a marksman, you know, understand what your kind of um, play style is and just um, go with that. Understand, study, re uh, not read up. Well, I guess you can read up on reviews, do that. Just get a basic understanding of how the game is played and how um, it works. I myself um, am a CQB player. I like up close engagement um, uh, play style. I like being less than, I like being 50 feet or closer to my enemy and um, playing, I guess, chicken, you can say, and see uh, if I can get them or they can get me. Um, basically, as a beginner, besides the face, which I've already covered, um, gloves. Gloves are very important, whether they're just um, no finger gloves or full gloves, because getting shot in the hand really hurts. Whether you know, I'm not joking at all. You know, you get shot in the hand and you don't have any protection on it. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna sting. You could break your nail. You could you know end up bleeding, and that doesn't feel good. And you're still playing, and you know it could be hard to shoot your gun. I'm just just I'm just putting that out as a safety. Try to get some gloves. I don't care if they're working gloves, leather gloves, airsoft gloves, paintball gloves. Just wear something for your hands to keep it, keep them protected. Um, I for I'm like full, like I said, full camo. Like you, like, you could go out there with jeans and um, so, just a t-shirt, and yeah, you're gonna, get, it's gonna hurt. You're gonna get welts, but you don't need to go all out as a beginner. You don't need all this like crap and load yourself up, you know, like play a couple games, see if you like it, see if you don't and expand from there. Um, 
your uh, other importance is you need a gun. You um, preferably try to get a gun since you're a beginner and I'm assuming that you're on a budget. Try to get a gun that's anywhere between 80 uh, eighty dollars and like a hundred and fifty I wouldn't want to spend any more than that and just play just um, understand do your research study up on what gun you think would be good for you it, it is your first time gun so you want it to last a long time you want it to you want it to be personal because it's your first purchase your first buy um, and just um, just have fun out there with that gun I mean you don't you won't don't need to buy a whole bunch of mags you don't need to buy like a whole bunch of accessories. Just learn how to play. Learn from other people. Watch other people while you play. Um, definitely, you're gonna want a lot of BBs. I um, I know people use about two thousand BBs when they play in a in a whole day's worth of uh, gaming. They uh, um, so and the BBs you want to use for guns that you buy that are eighty dollars to hundred fifty dollars. You don't want to use the BBs that come with it because they are pretty crappy quality BBs. The reason people express getting high quality BBs and usually getting .2s or I would prefer you start with .23s or .25 gram BBs is because the reason you want those better quality BBs is because the really crappy .12 gram BBs or BBs that come with your gun, they're going to jam the gearbox. They're going to strip gears. They're going to they're going to destroy it and that sucks. That, that blows. There's no worse feeling than hearing your gun not work. So that's a big issue. Get, get like, I would get 5,000 BBs just, just in case and maybe an extra clip, but you won't need another magazine if you're beginning because you need, you want to understand and learn the game. Um, shoes, you can, people say get boots, people say, I. It, it's your personal preference, what, what feels comfortable to your feet. I go out there with Converse, leather Converse. I go out there with running shoes. I'm not trying to look stylish. I'm just trying to be comfortable. Um, like, I do have full camo, but that's after deciding what I want to wear when I go. I, I don't want to mess up my jeans. I wear those for, for fashionably or for just around. I don't really work in jeans. I use you know, working clothes that I don't care if they get dirty or messed up, but that's just me. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people you will see have, like I've done an review before, a sidearm. You don't need a sidearm. You don't need to waste the money on a gas blowback or even a spring pistol, because then how are you going to hold that? All you have is your gun. You can't hold this and shoot. Well, I mean, you can, but it's going to be complicated. And to do that is you need a holster. You need a vest or something to put this in. That that costs money. That that's extra stuff. That if you want to get it, you can. I'm just saying, if you're starting out, run with the smallest, with the lightest amount of equipment you have, so you can understand the game. Watch other people play. Ask ask people to help. Like, hey, what what would you suggest or what would you you know? I'm on a budget. What should what is good for me? I know you can go to you can go to Evike, you can go to Airsoft GI, you could go to a whole bunch of Airsoft stores online and whatnot, or anywhere in your area, and you know, you're gonna pay a little bit more money for what you want. Don't don't like if you wanna do that, do that. I'm not telling you don't. Don't I'm not telling you to do something that you need to do, but look on Amazon, look on eBay, look on Craigslist, just Look around, look and find your options that works for you on a budget, that works for yourself. And just um, a lot, I, I literally, before I bought my first gun, I did three months of watching videos, looking at guns, looking at reviews, watching, you know, on YouTube, watching um, how the gun shoots, how they play, what the play style. I just like, if, as nerdy and geeky as it is, I enveloped myself into studying the game before I made my first purchase and that may take you know don't take three months don't like don't do that that's a waste of time I wish I wish I had but I'm glad I did because now I know what I want to get when I buy something so um 
if there are any other, this is just a video for anyone to post their questions on it. If they've got questions about air softing or they've got questions about, you know, what to wear, what a uh, certain feel, what different things uh, fields require, you know, just this is a video I'm posting to help people understand for beginners to understand the aspects of airsoft and hopefully that they, um, that they watch this video and comment, ask me questions so I can answer them for you. So I can make it easier. That's what basically this video is what I want it to be. Is people to comment, ask questions, or um, maybe even inform me because I don't know everything. I just know what I know, what I know off basic knowledge of airsofting as much as I have uh, looked into it. So um, yeah, I'm just going to end on this note. Uh, I might make another more in-depth um, beginner video. This is just like, I guess it's a video blog, I should say, of how I feel starting out as a beginner um, for what gun you should get, what kind of gun, what price range you're looking for. I, I mean, I wouldn't spend any more for your first gun and maybe some equipment and whatnot. I wouldn't spend any more than $200, $250 total. I think that's a good budget to set yourself at so you know what you're getting into. But, you know, this is just my opinion, how I feel on it. So, uh, yeah, um, um, uh, just comment below, like it if you think it was informative. Just let me know if I did anything uh, think I should change or think I um, there's some other things I need to stress upon for the airsoft community because I want to get into that. I want to get into the airsoft community and let them know um how i feel or what i think and see if i can get any positive or negative feedback because you know you can't please everybody just you can't please everybody out there so like i said comment subscribe if you want to um like the video so yeah later guys